Hi, this is Melissa Pacone, and in this movie I'm going to show you how to easily create some custom shapes and swishes inside of Illustrator. We're going to use three different techniques. And the first technique, I'm going to take this big old little rectangle that I've drawn here, and I want to cut it in half. I want to create some swishes. I used to do this all the time when I did web design, back when the swoosh was in fashion not so much in fashion today but I can either use my pencil tool or I can use my brush tool I'm gonna to use the brush tool I'm gonna to use my mouse if you have a tablet feel free to use a tablet for this and I'm just gonna freehand draw myself a little swoosh I'm just gonna draw a line there's my swoosh the only thing I have active is that path that I just drew I'm gonna come up to object choose path and I'm going to choose to divide the objects below. It's going to take that path and it's going to use it to cut my little guy in half. So now I have two edges and I could use one for the top, one for the bottom, or get, throw one away, whatever I need to do. If I wanted to make another swoosh, I could do it again. Right, same thing, object, path, divide objects below. Your path is gone, but your pieces and parts are still there. Pretty cool, pretty simple. And of course you want to be comfortable actually drawing when you use something like that. The other tools that are available to us are the Pathfinder tools. We have a Pathfinder panel. If you go up to Window, choose Pathfinder, a little panel comes up here and it shows you what we're going to do and I'm just going to focus on the first three here so what I would like to do is I would like to combine these two shapes into a single shape so I want the outside double curves here and I'm going to click on that first shape and now I have a single solid shape I'm going to select this next group here and what I'd like to do is I would just like to have this little kind of moon shape in the pink and so I'm going to minus the front and that leaves me with my little moon shape for this particular image I would like to have this little shape in the center this could be like a flower petal or a leaf I'm going to click on the third one and it leaves me the shape that was overlapping between the two shapes in CS5 we also have a new tool available to us and it is the shape builder tool over in your toolbox is this funny looking tool with a little arrow and a couple of shapes here and in order to use this tool I'm gonna to click on it but it's not gonna do anything because I need to have some shapes selected so I'm going to hold down my command or control key to give me my black arrow temporarily and then I can click and add the shift key and click again and click again and select the shapes that I want to work with. Now at this point I can choose I can make any kind of complex shape and what I really want is I really want uh, let's go for this yellow shape right here so I want just this shape I, I want to have the nice flat bottom and I don't want any of these extra shapes so to get rid of the pieces and parts that I don't want if I hold down the option key you'll notice that my little cursor gets a minus next to it and I can just click and drag and those that gray area now is going to be subtracted say I wanted to keep this piece too then I can click and drag through these pieces and now I have two pieces or if I'd like to get rid of that too I can go ahead and click and drag through that and now I just have this one little shape that I've created. Very handy. You can build all kinds of complex little shapes using that. Okay, so to do something specifically, I had a request to be able to create a shape. So here I have a big square. This could be used as a background image. And I've made two ellipses on top of it. So the first ellipse, I created the blue ellipse. And then I duplicated that ellipse and I made it a little bit smaller and I rotated it just slightly. So what I want to have is I want to have this purple corner and I want to have this blue area and this purple 
edge down here and this blue area. But I want it to completely, I want the blue to completely cut away the purple. So I'm going to start, I'm going to use a combination of tools here. Uh, I'm going to start with my Shape Builder tool. And I'm going to hold down my Option key to get the minus. I don't want any of these shapes. Oh, forgot to select. With my Command or Control keys, I need to, I'm just going to drag a box around all three of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I can hold down my Option key or my Alt key and I can subtract this and this. I don't need that. I actually don't want this section or this section either. We'll make that go away. And I don't want this middle section. So I do want these pieces and I actually kind of want to get rid of this piece too. So now I'm going to do something different because I don't want to eliminate these pieces. I simply want this part to break away from this part. So I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to select just this top piece and let's see if I go to path, divide objects below if that works. And it's not going to let me do it. It says there's more than one object selected. So let's try that with just the blue object selected. And now I can come up and do object, path, divide objects below. So now I have a purple corner and this corner here, or the little swishy corner, which I can always change the color of. I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to select the blue on top, object, path, divide objects below, and now I have this little swoosh that I can kind of move around and make it look a little different, which is really kind of what I want to do here. Maybe I'll go this way however you'd like to set it all up. Now I have a bunch of different pieces and of course to get rid of this I can just come in here again with another rectangle tool if I'd like and I can select both of these and then remove the front there and now I have the little corner that I was after and that is several techniques to create some custom shapes in Illustrator.